Let's head to the field house for the Pacers and Heat. And Paul George also debuted jersey number 13 for the first time as a Pacer. We flash back to the last time he played, May 30th, Game 6 of the Eastern Conference Finals against the Heat, who have eliminated the Pacers from the past three playoffs. And here is Paul George, 534 of the first quarter, checking in. His parents, Paul and Paulette, were on hand. The crowd was loving it. And Pacers president, Larry Burt, exhales. Oh, I know the fans, Paul and his teammates, were definitely excited to see him out there playing basketball and giving them a chance to make it to the playoffs. First bucket of the year floating at home. And then Paul George is going to come up with some D. Stealing it and igniting the fast break for the Pacers. He goes up and misses. Luis Skoll is there. Not quite the same way he threw it down in that picture we saw right in the beginning of him a year ago, but still pretty effective in his minutes out there. And then Paul George says, I'm all alone. Feed me the rock corner. Three ball is good. He had five points in seven minutes in the first half. D. Wade had 27 to keep Miami afloat. Yeah, right now he's the only player who's been able to contribute. They got a lot of injuries with white side. I think Beasley got hurt in this game, but when D. Wade is healthy, he's still one of the best uh, scorers in the NBA. And one heat within eight. But Paul George would lead Indiana on a 10-0 burst that would put this away with a couple of threes. Well, his dunks may not have come back yet, but his three-point shot, three for six today from the three-point line. And he had 13 points and just over 14 minutes. The Pacers beat the Heat 112-89. Welcome back, Paul George. The Pacers shot 14 of 30 from deep and out-rebounded the Heat 55-37.